poison on my blade. And let's go!
What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaik's sake. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Eggs Regal. A proud man, not a slug. The Renaikse cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. The Donea Eggs Regal I have met were fearless, and yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Car. Not Fradi. The worst part is that you are right. I cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Fine. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Landristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. You would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaigze is so strong. Mordun is willing to meet you at Landristel to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ula? Of course. In our language, Landristel means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. Bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. Ulan is acting strangely. 
I do not trust him. I suddenly feel the urge to go to Lan Restal. I hear it looks wonderful this time of year. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now. Edloredar, thank you for coming. You saved me. Dadakar Sedulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, on Manawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. Traitor. This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mordun was a Danaea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig Say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry. But I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger. But keep in mind that we are now at peace. 
thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri. And should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? Nothing. I must go.
bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Take a potion if you want to cast more spells.
Halt. In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier for D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. your gods answer me why why are you doing this behold your so-called gods you are demons they burn they are nothing You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are! The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address me with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts to avoid answering speak for themselves. Answer my question. No, I am not a believer. What are you going to do now? Burn me at the stake? Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. Put a poison on my blade. And let's go! Let's go! Enough! This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter. And I am certain that we shall meet again.
young lady. Pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sardé, what can I do for you? Tell me about San Mateus. It is still a new city, of course, but it is already the beacon of faith in Tia Fredi. Many Teleme settlers gathered there to walk in the footsteps of our prophet, including, of course, many missionaries and inquisitors. The conversion of the island population being our main concern. Tell me about San Mateo. It is still many, including the confirmed. Who are the missionaries? It is an order that aims to convert people. You must have met some of its followers in Serene. Most of them leave the comfort of Teleme to visit other countries to spread the good word. This once relatively minor order has become quite significant in recent years and has established itself in politics in the highest positions of our nation. What can you tell me about the Ordo Luminis? This is our Order of Inquisitors. Its members are associated with a very pure version of our faith. 
they are in charge of tracking down heresies and ungodly cults and accomplish their tasks with zeal. The discovery of this island and island magic is obviously a real challenge for them, which sometimes leads them to behave a little out of passion, as you have seen. You seem to know Father Petrus well. What can you tell me about him? Do I frighten you so much that you do not dare question me directly, my child? Come on, Petrus. Our young legate probably wants an outside opinion on the person accompanying her. In response to your questions, Your Excellency, Petrus belongs to the Order of the Missionaries. He spent many years in different countries bringing the light. He is a shrewd diplomat and a devious politician, but I am sure you will appreciate his services. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency.